I'm back. It's been a little while. I hope everyone's doing well out there. And yes, I am back with a little bit of transfer news for uh, Grimsby Town. Two incomings and one outgoing. Also, this is going to be the week where uh, my football content really does uh, sharpen up. And it is going to be on uh, the National League this season. So look out for more videos coming up in the next few days. But let's just crack on with the uh, first, the incomings. So we do with the incomings first. Uh, the first signing today uh, came when uh, Grimsby have announced the uh, loan signing of 21-year-old midfielder Alex Hunt uh, on loan until January uh, from Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, this guy seems very, very uh, highly thought of. Um, and apparently there's a lot of clubs in for him um, uh, that's interested in signing him and football league level as well so to get him seems like a bit of a coup for Paul Hurst um, he uh, he actually captained the under 18 side at Sheffield Wednesday and then signed a uh, initial uh, professional contract in uh, February of 2018 and he made his debut for Sheffield Wednesday uh, in the AFL Cup game away at um, Sunderland in a 2-0 victory in August of that year. So he's very, uh, he comes in very highly, highly thought of. And uh, I don't know a great deal about the guy, but he looks like he's, uh, he's determined. He, uh, I've heard his interview, he's very, very confident. So uh, it's kind of, you know, youth again, you know, again, but I think Hurst is trying to assemble uh, a young, energetic side by the looks of it. So, we need to see how Alex gets on. Uh, so, welcome to Alex. Hopefully, it's a, it's a good little uh, loan spell for him. And, uh, you know, we're, we're good with young players, so it should be, uh, should be entertaining. Speaking of young players... We move on to signing number two. Now this one has only just been announced in the last five minutes uh, before Giles Coke could uh, <laughs> ruin it because Giles gave away uh, Hunt's signing bef before the club actually signed it. So uh, before the club admitted it. So um, with this one. <laughs> They thought they'd get it in there before Koki ruined it. So, uh, but we've also signed um, another young, uh, another young winger called Will Bapega. Uh and he's 18 years old. He's on loan uh, for the rest of the season from the Sky Blues of Coventry City. Um, and he, uh, like I said, he's an academy graduate through the system, uh, but he did make his professional debut uh, for Coventry. Uh, in 2019, in an 0-0 draw against Bolton, and he made a, a three-minute cameo there. Um, like I said, it all looks like he's going for pace, um, quickness, which is pace, uh, quickness and youth and energy. I think he wants this side to be energetic, um, which maybe some people will probably uh, probably think this isn't Paul Hurst's kind of signings you know people are thinking well you know when Paul was here last time sort of long ball no he seems to get he seems to want to get ball playing uh, midfielders and ball ball playing footballers um, I think as we can see through Paul's uh, games in preseason he's trying to play the ball on the floor more but having that long ball uh, option open to him as and when it's possible with Rico Salzo again uh, being a strong winger now I understand this may these signings may not be um, you know may not be the big name that everybody wants but uh, like I said this guy is uh, Will is only 18 so oh, I think we've gone for Strong, uh, young, quick 
hungry players, you know, and we've got two uh, two youngsters there um, from very good clubs, very good clubs, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how how they how they both get on our hunt gets on and how will Papiga, I ever get that name right, gets on as well. So it'll be interesting. I'm sure they'll be involved at the weekend against Chesterfield, which I will do a little bit of a preview on uh, coming tomorrow. I, I believe I'll be doing that one, yes. Uh, and obviously the one other bit of transfer news is, um, of course, the, the loss of George Williams. Uh, so... Uh, George has left the club um, as of yesterday. Uh, he got released from his uh, from his contract uh, and has joined Barrow on a one-year deal. Um, so um, good luck to George. I I w I wasn't shocked by that because obviously he was made available for free transfer. Um, and some fans may be uh, against me on this. Some people may uh, be for me with this. I don't find that a big miss. Um, I know, I know there was some um, little bit of uproar on on social media, but to me, that's not really a massive miss. I think uh, George, he just didn't fit in to where Hursty wants to go and again suppose it's Holloway signing I suppose and it, it just didn't fit what Paul wanted so uh, uh, thank you to George for the for the effort he did put in and good luck for George at Barrow um, so like I said two arrivals um, in the last two or three hours and one departure which happened yesterday uh, and that's the video what i am going to tell you about before i finish is i've got a um first week national league uh preview coming up at the early part of next week uh because obviously the uh, national league season starts uh next week so i'll be giving my predictions for that and a little bit of a preview of the league in general uh and of course i will be uh, also doing a uh, a grimsby preview um around about wednesday thursday look out for it then uh about the game against bromley on saturday or next saturday which is um uh, which is a 5 20 kickoff if you uh i know people are going to bromley if you can't it is on bt sport so look out for that and one other thing I will I will mention um, is if you can get down on Sunday, uh, if you're not going to Chesterfield on on Saturday, uh, which I hope some people do, I'm sure a lot will. Um, obviously, don't forget about the uh, Broadley Charity Game, which is taking place on uh, Sunday. Hopefully, we can get a good uh, a good turnout for that. Uh, some of the some of the legends, some of the some of the old boys of the past, even uh, even before my time, uh, is going there. We've got some, uh, there's some cracking players going to be there. Um, so I'm looking forward to, I'll be there on Sunday. If you do see me, say hello. And, um, you know, I'll, and we can have a chat about what you guys think about the upcoming season and the signings that Paul has already made. So uh, it's... Quite an exciting time. I know we haven't quite uh, found that marquee striker yet, but I'd always say to Grimsby fans, just believe, because if there's one thing Paul knows, it's to sign a player. I know people are getting restless, but just just give him time. Uh, something, um, knowing Paul, something will come up. Like when we... Uh, We've signed players in the past on the poor, which we didn't think much of, and they've become absolute belters. So, uh, just on that side, just fans, just um, just stay calm. Uh, yes, I do think we 
we need a striker before um, I believe before Bromley but if we don't remember we haven't got a transfer window we haven't got a transfer window um, so there is time but I do believe I, I think it needs to be a permanent signing so that is it for this video I uh, hope you do like it I hope uh, you give you uh, give me your feedback what do you think you know what do you think of the, about these two lads that have just been signed uh, are you looking forward to watching them play are they are they what you're looking for um, and are you excited for the upcoming season that's the question are you excited and um, good fans give me your opinion where do you think with the squad that we're assembling where do you guys think that town will finish let me know and I'll see you guys like I said it's a busy week video wise for me coming this week so keep keep um, keep a breath with me just uh, subscribe that little uh, red button down below just uh, subscribe to that and uh, put the notifications on and every time I upload because it is gonna be a busy week for me um, you will hear and you will see it first so I will see you guys soon with another video in the next few days